Hey friends, how are y'all today? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jessica. And today, y'all, I'm going to be doing more of a vlog style video for y'all. I know when y'all like I know y'all like when I sit down and get to talk to y'all for a little bit. So I think I want to start doing that in my videos, y'all. Um, they don't always have to be so serious and just bam, get right to the point. You know, there are days that I can just sit down and talk to y'all because I love to get to know y'all. I love, you know getting to know you guys in the comments so you know I think this would be fun you know a change so today y'all I am doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that my house is not dirty dirty but it is a little messy and needs to get picked up I need to sweep and mop that is like one of the big things because I, I need to make sure my floors are clean for her so I'm really big on sweeping and mopping and making sure everything's all clean and I do run my little robot um, so, you know, it helps me out, but today I decided I wanted to do it just to make sure it's really, really clean and bleached and sanitized. So y'all, if you haven't seen my video where I introduced her, this is Mia. She is my 11 week old Yorkie and she is so cute. I got her as a friend for Ezra, but Ezra seems like he just really doesn't want much to do with her right now. I'm hoping that changes. If you have had to introduce a little puppy to, and uh, you know, one that you've had, you know, if he doesn't want anything to do with her, let me know if that's normal. Does it take long for them to adjust? Because it kind of makes me sad. I mean, I'm giving him even more attention than I did before, so he doesn't feel left out or anything like that. So, you know, I mean, I'm making sure he feels okay in that aspect. So I'm just probably just giving him some time. As soon as, you know, I put her down on the ground and if he's down too, she just runs after him. She just wants to play with him. But she does bite too. So I don't know maybe if it's the biting. But right now he just, he doesn't want anything to do with her. So I'm hoping that changes because he definitely needs her. So yeah, y'all, she is the new member of the family. And I just love having her here. Um, I've been wanting a full-blooded Yorkie for some time now, and that's what I wanted when I found Ezra. And Ezra is ha um, half Yorkie, so he's half Yorkie, half Palm. He looks more Yorkie than he does Pomeranian, so, um, but she is full-blooded. She's registered and all that, so, um, but I can't wait until she gets older and they get to play and, you know, get to, you know, get to know each other and they're just like two peas in a pot. That's what I want for Ezra. I just love, love, love that boy so much. And y'all, I'm so sad because ever since I got him, he used to sleep right next to me. When I got him and he was in a crate, I had him right next to me in the bed and then, um, you know, in the room next to my bed. And then now that he is older, he has a big old bed and it's right beside my bed on the ground and he will just, you know, sleep on that. But once I got her and I put her in the living room, even though they don't get a lot, like he doesn't want nothing to do with her, he's sleeping on the couch right next to her playpen. I'm like, what is, what is going on here? You know, so it, I'm, I've been sad. I've had to sleep without him a couple nights, you know, right next to me. And it's just, it's really weird. So not only, I guess, is he having to adjust, I'm trying to adjust too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for them to have a really good, good bond and all of that so hopefully that'll come soon so if you have been in this situation let me know down below you know does it take long you know it just you know will it happen because I don't want him to to hate her or anything like that you know I really want them to to be best buddies but y'all it is fixing to rain we've got some rain coming um, speaking of rain, I don't like bad storms. Now, I don't mind the rain and the thunder and the lightning and all of that. I just don't like it when it gets super windy and uh, tornadoes. The other day, I was just cleaning up my house and all of a sudden we got a tornado warning and it just scared me so bad, y'all, because we live in a mobile home. You're not supposed to be in a mobile home during a tornado. And here we are with a tornado warning with no place to go. So I was really, really scared. So we are in the process of getting started on a storm shelter because we definitely need one. My husband started digging. I'll take you outside and actually show you that here in a little bit as well. Before, you know, the weather starts changing and all of those bad storms start rolling through because I cannot deal with them. I do not do bad storms. So 
But yeah, y'all, I'll go ahead and take you outside and show you kind of what we've been up to a little bit out there before it starts storming. And then we're going to get started on some cleaning. Now, All right, y'all, so see how beautiful the sky is. But look what's going on here. Oh my goodness. I'm not looking forward to this. Storm's coming. Really Looks like it's going to be really bad. Right out here, y'all, my husband has started digging. And this is where we are going to be putting our storm shelter. Um, still lots and lots of work, but we are getting started on it. Another look at the sky, y'all. Look how scary that looks. That is really scary. Yep, it is coming this way. It looks like that fog monster from Space. Right. Things. y'all as you can see it was it's rainy and really hard out there thank god it didn't get bad i don't mind a little bit of wind and then you know some rain so whew. <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get started in the kitchen y'all if y'all get tired of seeing me do the kitchen let me know i just know that i always have something to do in the kitchen and that is like my least favorite place don't get me wrong i love my kitchen um but I just I do get tired of you know being in the kitchen and doing the um, dishes and loading the dishwasher and just cleaning and all of that cooking trust me I do get tired of it so um, that's why I like to include it because I always have something to do in the kitchen every single day um, you're cooking you're cleaning in here everybody's you know coming in here to make something to eat so you always have a mess to clean up or I do always have a mess to clean up in here um, like I said, we don't eat out a whole lot, and I do cook all of our meals. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and start in here. I do need to load the dishwasher. First, I'm going to unload the dishwasher, and I'm going to load the dishwasher and probably wash some dishes on hand. And then I will get started on um, cleaning everything else. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I get started, y'all. So here y'all, it's just going to be me cleaning up my kitchen. My son is sitting at the bar doing his schoolwork. So you will see me going over there to help him at times. So this is how we do our homeschooling y'all. He is very smart and you know, he's capable of reading and understanding and doing the things, you know, on his own. But as far as like teaching him things, like we have to teach him some math problems and how to subtract and, um, and like the larger numbers so I just had to teach that to him today but I'm so far loving the homeschool thing y'all I love k-12 because they not only do they have like the teachers there that help them and stuff you know it's not all on me trying to figure out what he has to do and make sure he's you know learning what he needs to learn so it just takes a lot of the pressure off but I am absolutely enjoying the k-12 I watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Don't 
actually and I'll go over that with y'all here in a minute but let me show you I'm gonna let it sit out and let it kind of just get room temps a little bit before I stick it in the oven but it is a baked spaghetti now this is very very easy I'll just walk you through really quick what I did so I just make my spaghetti sauce I'll like fry up if you want onion you can fry up your onion or whatever um, and then um, brown up your ground beef I use ground turkey because that's what we use. And then I put in my spaghetti sauce. I did two containers of spaghetti sauce because um, you want a good amount on there. You don't. You want to make sure when it coats the noodles, you know you're going to have lots of sauce. You don't want it to be dry. And then you're also going to add in some cream cheese. Now I added in a couple blocks of cream cheese. So um, I made that, let that melt in there. And then when the sauce was done, I boiled some spaghetti noodles on the side. 
I drained those and I went ahead and put them in there with the sauce, mixed it all up. Um, I did add, you know, I want to make sure you season it good because, I mean, everything's going to be combined. So I made sure I had enough sauce, you know, I did some black pepper, extra garlic powder and all of that good stuff. And, um, and then you put it into your baking dish and you top it off with some cheese. You can top it off with some mozzarella cheese or any cheese that you like. I use Parmesan cheese because that's what I had on hand. I had some leftover from when I made Alfredo the other night. So yeah, um, this is, has not been baked yet. I did have this, um, another dish that I um, baked in the oven for last night's dinner. So this is going to be tonight, so I love when I can do that, y'all, that I'll have extra and I can eat it the day after, and I don't have to cook, so that's been a great help for me today. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside, just sit it on the stove and let it just come, you know, a little, so it's not so cold because I don't want it to break my dish. Oh, y'all, i got to show you these. These are so, so, so cute. I got these from... Let me give you a closer look. I got these from Amazon, and I'll link them down below in case you want one. You can go and get your own, but they're so cute. They have roosters on them, and it matches my um, utensil holder over here that has a rooster on it, too. So I was like, oh, my gosh, I've got to have them. So I'll link those down below in case you want your very own. You can go and get your, uh, your own. But anyways, y'all, I do want to tell you really quick. Um, I have been doing a lot of thinking um, about how I want to do my scheduling. So I'm going to be posting not every other day like I was. I want to bring you guys longer, um, better videos. That way, you know, you can actually engage with me. You'll get to know me a little bit better. Um, and they're not going to be the same thing over and over. So every day is going to be different. Um, and I think that would be a lot fun of course I'm still doing my makeovers and all of that but I feel like my schedule is going to be Monday Wednesday Fridays and Sundays so you will have videos for me on those days and if I have them already planned out I'll let you know what you can expect for the week on um, the community page that way you can be informed and you can look forward you'll know what you can look forward to on my channel so yeah y'all that is what I have planned and of course like I've said the big um, the big makeover that I'm going to be doing next is the um, laundry room. Now I already know exactly what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be doing the pretty much the whole makeover so yeah I'm excited about it. Um, I'm not looking forward to all the work but I'm excited because it sure does look super ugly right now. And then another makeover that I'm going to have coming up very soon is my front door because I'm ready to get that changed. And I also need to paint all of the doors throughout the house. Um, eventually, I'll do those in videos here and there as well. Um, I do have doorknobs um, for the whole house. And y'all, doorknobs has gotten super, super duper expensive. And um, so, yeah, we already have them all. I just does, I haven't changed them all out yet because I do want to paint the doors before I change them out. So, um but yeah, but I, I'm going to be doing a makeover on the front door too. I don't know which one will come out first, but we shall see. So now, y'all, I'm going to go ahead, tidy up the living room real quick, and then I'm going to start it on um, sweeping and mopping my floors. <laughs>
Working on our body language Working on our body language Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel I'm just trying to keep it real Let me love you on the inside Love you on the inside Tell me exactly what you mean You mean everything to me Let me love you on the inside So now that the floors are dried, I decided to get Mia out for some playtime really quick because I like to get her out as much as I can and let her get out and play so she doesn't feel like she's stuck in a playpen, y'all, because she's not being punished for being, you know, that's not why she's in the playpen. She is just, you know, so little. I don't want her hurt. And if I'm busy doing something, she needs to be in the playpen. Plus, this is how I potty train my babies. So... This is what works for me. And then um, once she is old enough to start going outside, of course, we are no longer going to be using this um, playpen. It's just temporary. I always try to include Ezra in the playtime. But of course, as you can see, he's just sitting there and he just looks so sad. <laughs> um, but I got a treat out for him so I can give him a treat because he is such a good boy. That way he can have a little treat while she's out playing. But She's so cute, y'all. She's just this little bitty little thing that just runs around and plays. And she's like learned her way throughout the house. And she's just so darling. I love her already. And yeah, y'all. And here I am. I'm just giving her and him some Nutri-Cal. Now, this is extra calories. Um, if you have had Yorkies, you know they're prone to having sugar drops and all that. So this is just you know, to avoid that from happening, especially when they're little babies. And then, of course, it's just extra calories, so it won't hurt. Ezra likes this stuff, and I actually have this stuff on hand for Ezra anyways, so, because Ezra is very picky, and I want to make sure he's getting his daily, um, you know, calories in, so I like using so, it. So, since the floors are all dry, and they are nice and clean and bleached, I have Mia out running around. She's doing so good with potty training that, you know, I'm allowing her to be out a little bit longer and longer each time. Um, so I do have her, you know, a little pee pad in the playpen, but I have the playpen open. And then I also have another one. So when she's, you know, another pee pad laying out. So whenever she's running around, you know, she'll have an extra one to use in case she can't make it there. But she does pretty, pretty good, y'all. Um, it was so funny. So when I first got her, I had her in the bathroom because I didn't have a playpen. And when I moved her in here from in the bathroom after I got the playpen, she would still run all the way back to the bathroom to use the bathroom. It was, it was the cutest thing. Like, she remembered. But she's so, so tiny and just so cute. So, um, she's doing good. So, if you hear her running around, that is her just having a good old time. And my son's over there, you know, sitting down with them. So, I'm going to go ahead and make some garlic toast really quick. I do have the um, spaghetti baked spaghetti in the oven heating up right now so I'm gonna go ahead and make some garlic toast now I know a lot of people will just go and buy the garlic toast from Walmart or wherever you're getting your groceries from and you just pop it on the tray and bake it but I'm making my own I love making my own I'm out of garlic powder but it's okay I can use a minced garlic and I'm going to go ahead and use regular sliced um, sandwich bread um, I do have like um, an Italian loaf that I could use but I'm going to go ahead and save that for big sandwiches because um, we're going to have that. And I accidentally ordered too much bread. I ordered bread from Aldi and I ordered two from Walmart. So before they go bad, I'm going to go ahead and make some garlic toast. That way, you know, we can get it all eaten up. So I'm going to go ahead and put enough for my boys. I can't eat this and I don't have enough bread for myself. I don't have any bread here on hand for me to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and just make some for them. So for this, y'all, you're going to need some butter, some garlic. I prefer garlic powder. The, the minced garlic will work just fine. Fresh garlic will work great too. And then some Italian seasoning. And I'm going to go ahead and bring you closer and let you see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I went ahead and... I got the cheese y'all I forgot cheese but you definitely gonna need some cheese well if you're a cheese lover and you're you know allowing cheese in your diet go ahead and grab your cheese it always makes it better um, you can leave it out if you want but I had plenty of cheese and I decided to go ahead and sprinkle some on there so I'm gonna go ahead with the butter first just spreading on the butter and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the rest of the toppings 
Never thought it would be so hard I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives y'all so here is the baked spaghetti it is bubbling oh my gosh it smells so good i'm just waiting on the garlic toast now and then i will plate it and show you guys what it looks like so the garlic toast is done as well i'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and get my boys fed as you can see it is 5 15 i like to have dinner ready by four and we're used to eating at four um but you know what We've been doing it a little bit later since we moved here. So I'm going to go ahead and make plate and um, feed the kiddos. And then I'm going to feed myself and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like plated. Also, the kiddos are here eating. My little picky one even likes this dish. And make mine so I can eat too because it looks so good. And All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little different, but I kind of liked it just to do something different and it's not all just clean, clean, clean. And, you know, we, you know, I did get some cleaning done, but yet I got to chat with y'all some too. Let me know if you like these types of videos and I can just continue to do it this way. You know, I may just do some just cleaning by itself as well at times too. Don't forget my new schedule. It's going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, I will probably post between four and seven I'm not sure um, let me know down below would you prefer four or seven I have noticed that you guys um, like the later times a lot better I seem to have been doing a lot better with the later times so let me know and it'll either be four or seven and thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today love you guys so much and I will see you guys on the next one all right bye y'all